So, do you guys remember this video from seven years ago? Hello viewers, I'm Simon Preston and this is Reggae Boys Commentary. In this Man, was my voice really that deep? Wow. Well, so the first match that I went to to support the Reggae Boys was in 2003. I was in... What is this video really all about? Well, we're in March 2023 and in March 2003 I attended the first game to watch the Reggae Boys in person. That's right, March 2003. That was the first time I was ever watching the Reggae Boys. To be specific, March 28, 2003 against Martinique, which was a Gold Cup qualifier. So what we're going to do in this video is go back to Reggae Boys memories, which is what we're doing and show you all the ticket stubs and you know credentials and pictures and photos over the last 20 years because I Simon Preston have not missed a home game in 20 years. Since the first time that I watched the Reggae Boys play in March 2003, I have not missed a single home game. Since March 2003, I have not missed a single home game. 20 years without missing a home game. Whether that's Kingston, Montego Bay, and I've also caught some games on the road, as you guys are aware as well. Gold Cup 2003, I've been to the Copa America, I've been to the Gold Cup overseas as well. I've caught friendly internationals on different corners of the globe as well, which I'm truly grateful about. So, just want to show you guys some memories. So, this was a ticket stub, where in Jamaica took on Martinique in the Gold Cup qualifier. This is where we draw 2-2. Claude Davis getting the equalizer for Jamaica in this game. These were the tickets from the game. And I utilized one of those tickets. So these were the tickets from the game that I went. So this was Jamaica against Martinique. It was a seven o'clock kickoff at the National Stadium. I remember it very well because it was a Friday. You know, I can't forget it. I can't forget it because of the game in particular and how everything sort of panned out in that encounter. The second game I went to was May 2003. And it was Jamaica against Nigeria. Jamaica against Nigeria. Yep, that is right. Jamaica against Nigeria. This was a friendly international at the National Stadium. And Jamaica went 2-0 up, you know, with Anandalo and Teddy Johnson. Nigeria pulled two back. And then the last kick of the game, Andy Williams getting the goal for the Jamaicans. So again, the ticket stubs from the game. So this is 2003. These are what the ticket stubs looked like. Not that one. But yeah, this is what the ticket stubs looked like in that game in 2003. Wonderful memories, isn't it? In the same year, July 2003, Jamaica took on a Brazilian All-Star team. And Jamaica defeated Bra the Brazilian All-Star team by two goals to one. Yeah, it was a good game. Jamaica won by two goals to one. We had Bebeto playing in that game. Sergio and, and other individuals in that game in particular. There's another one. So, for an example, there were some times where the ticket stub that was taken at the gate, they took the entirety of the ticket stub and not just part of it. So what I did was just wrote the, the match on a piece of paper. So this is Jamaica versus Chile in 2007. You know, so for that game in, and that time in particular, it was like that. Same in the, the Caribbean Cup 2006. St. Vincent 2, Jamaica won at the National Stadium because the entire ticket stub was taken for that game. And the same was done in our World Cup qualifier in 2008, where Jamaica defeated Canada by three goals to nil. All right. A couple of under 20, well, under 20 games as well in the CONCACAF under 20 championship. Still have those all mapped out. And I'm going to show you guys some more. Yeah, so stay tuned. See all of these? And this is not even half. Not even half. And I haven't even gotten to the credentials yet for the games. Where do we where do we begin? Where do we begin? Caribbean Cup Final 2008. Jamaica against Grenada. Jamaica winning by two goals to nil. Luton Shelton with two penalties. Rennie Samoyes' first game in, in his second stint with Jamaica. Jamaica won. Costa Rica won. Tyrone Marshall scoring on that occasion. 
a day that should never be forgotten in Jamaican history. Jamaica defeating the United States by two goals to one. The first time ever at the senior level. First time ever at the senior level. A day that should not be forgotten about. Friendly National International 2010 Jamaica versus Canada. Jamaica won, Canada nil. A day never to be forgotten. Another one, September 2010 Jamaica versus Costa Rica. Ryan Johnson scoring, Jamaica won, Costa Rica nil. Jamaica's first victory over Costa Rica since 1997. Caribbean Cup 2004 at the National Stadium. The first leg in St. Lucia 1-1. The second leg 2-1. Jermaine Hugh, what a free kick to ensure that Jamaica would be advancing on in the Digicel Caribbean Cup. Not a memory that we'll reflect on with fondness. Jamaica versus Panama at the National Stadium. Panama 2, Jamaica 1 in 2004. Damani Ralph got the equaliser. We thought we'd get a point and then, well, you guys know what happened. Very, very disappointing. March 2007, under Bor Militinovic, Jamaica versus Panama. Jamaica 1, Panama 1, Luton Shelton with the goal in that game. The Caribbean Cup group stages, Jamaica 1, rather Jamaica 2, Barbados 1. Barbados leading by, we're leading 1-0. And then here comes Luton Shelton and here comes Rudy Austin. The Gold Cup in 2003. Colombia versus Jamaica. Colombia won by a goal to nil. This was at the Orange Bowl Stadium in Miami. Yeah, quite a game it was. Jamaica versus Cuba, 2012. Georgina James at the National Stadium. Bam, one nil. A moment we don't want to reflect on with fondness. 2007, Jamaica's under-17 team had just defeated USA 3-2. All they needed was a win over Trinidad. But Trinidad got the win. Very disappointing. Jamaica versus Guatemala on the top of 2-0. Omar Daly with the second, Ricardo Fuller with the first goal. Jamaica El Salvador a few days earlier. Rudy Austin with a goal from half line and Bibi with a brace. We looked at Jamaica, Costa Rica already. One of the best games I have experienced in terms of momentum, in terms of my my f personal thoughts and feelings of how the game went out, and just the sheer emotion. Jamaica won, Mexico nil. Ricardo Fuller with the goal in that game. A few days later, Jamaica versus Honduras. Luton Shelton with the goal in that game. Yeah, memories. Memories, I tell you. Yeah. I'll show you some of the accreditations quite shortly. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit more of the insight into things. Matches, tournaments, everything of that nature. But I keep all of them. All of the accreditations. I hang on to. Jamaica versus Bermuda. The, the, ma the last match that we played before COVID, well, during COVID, Jamaica-Bermuda, Jamaica 2, Bermuda nil. Goals in that game coming from Jordan Fletcher and also Kemar Bushy beckford scoring on his debut in that game. Jamaica versus Suriname. Jamaica 3, Suriname. One. Hmm. This was the Rugby World Cup, New Zealand versus Jamaica. <laughs> Memories, I tell you. Champions League. Celtic versus Shakhtar Donetsk. Champions League football. Chile versus Jamaica. At the Estadio Sausalito. Jamaica 2. Chile 1. Clayton Donaldson. And Joel Grant. What a hero. What a hero. Can you imagine? What a hero he was. Let me show you guys some pictures. 
So that's me. Yep, that's me and my dad. Me and Donovan Ricketts. Me and Paul Hall. I was, what, six, seven at the time. See, Leon Burton happy to give me his autograph. So is Chris Dawes and Leon Gordon. Wiley Boo and Chris Dawes. Fitzroy Simpson. <laughs> happy to give me his autograph too. Frank Sinclair. Claude Davis. <laughs> Memories, me I tell you. <laughs> Clovis and I. Clovis de Oliveira. Anandalo and my mom. Anandalo and my dad. Ricardo Fuller. <laughs> memories, memories. I still have their autographs, you know. I should definitely show you guys the autographs. So, this is where everything is, and everything in here eventually goes into here. All right. Autographs from players. Hmm. Memories. I mean, Manchester United gave me a memo. That's a signed picture from Wayne Rooney. And a signed picture from David De Gea. Happy days. And what followed after that was, thank you, Manchester United. Money in the night against West Ham. What a day it was. Ooh. Got to see Salford City in League Two. more games. Everton versus Man United, Goodison Park, Macclesfield Town against Newport County. Yeah. I know for the part that I know you guys have been looking forward to seeing as well. <laughs> Credentials. Yeah, they've certainly... It has been a, a situation where... <coughs> You know, I know you guys have been looking forward to a lot, and I'll show you guys as well. I mean, you guys would have seen a lot of it in terms of the so, yeah. Let's look at some credentials, shall we? Because there's a lot. <laughs> Quite a bit. I mean, where do we begin? Where do we begin? Because there absolutely is so many. There's so many. I guess we could just talk about the ones that stands out the most to me. The ones that, that lives the most to me. The one that will always, you know, resonate with me. I'll show you. World Cup qualifiers. These ones are always going to be important to me. After that, a few others. That stands out. A few. Chile versus Jamaica. 2006, 2016 amongst a few others. Yeah. But a lot of memories. Manchester United. <laughs> Quite a bit. So Reggae Boys fans, what is your unbeaten run like? 
have you guys, you know, had 20 years unbeaten at the, watching the Reggae Boys or Longo? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content.